It is not impossible to protect our kids at school. They act like it is. Nancy Pelosi, well, she's got protection when she's in D.C. Apparently her house doesn't have a lot of protection. <laughs> Thank God your ratings are in the toilet. That's exactly where they deserve to be. Start being journalists. Stop spreading the garbage. I'm going to be your worst freaking nightmare for eight years. And these bastards back there don't want us talking about stolen elections. Well, it doesn't matter. We had November 3rd, 2020. That was called Incompetency 101. They got to fix this problem. This is incompetency. That is absolutely absurd. And, and are you guys buying that? Are you really buying that? This just sounds like a Jesse Smollett part two. I don't even know where her campaign office is. I'm assuming it's in a basement somewhere because that's where she's been campaigning. I'm going to win the election and I will accept that result because the people will never, the people of Arizona will never support and vote for a coward like Katie Hobbs. That is a montage, a mashup, if you will, that was put together by CNN. Now, I don't know if you noticed it, but I did. And a lot of other people out there did. Most of them are Latinos. I happen to be a journalist who also is Latino, and I have a podcast called The Rick Sanchez Podcast where I talk about a lot of the things that sometimes the media doesn't understand because, I don't know, maybe it's about representation. But they had in that mashup that was put together as part of the programming of election coverage of CNN on the day they announced that she had lost to Katie Hobbs, and they had her criticizing Nancy Pelosi, and they had her criticizing the media, and they had her criticizing the election process, and they had her criticizing a lot of stuff, right? But what's missing? Ask yourself, what's missing? Now, if you happen to be in Arizona, or if you happen to be Latino, then you would know that there was something else that she did that was really just downright offensive. She went on the air and said, pronounced to the whole world, that the people who crossed the border, me, my mother, my father, everybody who's come to this country who has come from through the border, right? That we are all criminals and rapists. The insinuation really is Latinos are criminals and rapists. Oh, and that, by the way, that we're the ones who are bringing the drugs. In fact, here it is. The media might have a field day with this one, but I'm going to just repeat something President Trump said a long time ago, and it got him in a lot of trouble. They are bringing drugs. They are bringing crime, and they are rapists, and that's who's coming across our border. That's a fact. It's not a fact. The fact is, the people who are bringing drugs into the United States, especially fentanyl, as she says, are Americans. They're not Latinos who are coming here for a better life. In fact, the people who take drugs in the United States are Americans. They're not Latinos. But she said that, and isn't it interesting? It tells you a lot about a news organization. A news organization is only as good as its smallest parts, right? So who are the editors? Who are the producers? Who are the people who were asked to put that mashup together, that montage together, that aired on CNN? And none of them said, well, wait a minute. How about the bit where she said that all Latinos and all the people crossing the border are, 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 are criminals and are, drug are bringing drugs, right? And are rapists. Where's that? See, that's the thing. That, that's why diversity matters. Anderson Cooper tossed to that piece. If I had tossed to that piece, I would have said, wait, there's something else. He didn't. They didn't. They should. That's a Latino truth. That's what matters. And that's why I say it. I'm Rick Sanchez. My podcast is called The Rick Sanchez Podcast. It's a part of Agua Media. And we're so glad you're there. And we thank TYT for this opportunity.